Quarantine Kitchen. <laughs> Meet our, our new uh, mascot. Our new mascot. This is uh, Sebastian. 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 After JF Sebastian. JF Sebastian. Hello, JF. You're my friends. Hey, my I made them. I made Remember? Them. That's from, it's a Blade Runner. Home again, home again. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. Jig jig. Maybe the next one we'll get will be Chris. He's old. He's, he's, he's <laughs> been, I mean, this thing is. He's really fucked up bad. Beloved. Beloved by who? Oh, somebody, probably. Hey, nobody Us cuddled now. him. Because his, his, his claws are really freaking sharp. It's not a dog, cute dog. It's not a dog, it's a squirrel. He's a squirrel. A I. He's hollow inside, so I want to make him a peanut dispenser. I want to drill a hole in his ass and fill him up with peanuts, and then that way when you want a peanut, you... Is anybody with me? Wouldn't that be like, like they don't eat peanuts, squirrels. Well, what else would I put in acorns. there? Acorns. Well, that's a big hole. I and I don't want to eat acorns. <laughs> we, we can make an M&M I mean, dispenser, an but that we, seems... If we had a stuffed elephant, now that would be interesting. We could just well, if we had a stuffed elephant, I would lift my, put my arm into and well, we would never stop hey because there are our favorite animals in the world. We, we, no, anyway. no. Well, Elephants dogs. and Boston Terriers. Speaking of, um, say uh, say hello to uh, Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer in the band. Scabigail's on Mr. Puff and her usual tooper. And uh, Francis is over on his... Uh, torper. Torper, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, and Franny's over over on his He's, uh, chair. He's uh, being incognito in his chair. He's blending. So usually we, uh, we've got a couple of different things going on tonight. Um, we uh, can... Yeah. I like... Do you guys like the hat? I like the hat. Oh, and check it out. Elizabeth is sporting one of the uh, quarantine, uh, quarantine kitchen t-shirts. Knives and flowers from the, uh, the night... With it. Yeah, knives what? and flowers um, available on uh, altonbrown.com, um, our official sponsor. But also, um, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something about a sponsor. I got new glasses. I hope you like them. Um, I we, like we. My, somebody called my glasses last week birth control glasses. I knew what that meant. In, in the Army, I'm on to it. In the army. I understand. In the army, we call those birth control classes. I'm like, good. That's good to know. I don't understand. Because they're wholly unattractive on women, and or some people think so. Anywho, saw the comment. Read the comments. I like you. In case you're wondering if you read the comments, I actually. I like them. you when you're not wearing anything but those glasses. Um, right so now, we, we keep getting our monetization turned off when we were listening to uh, Arctic, Arctic Outpost. Outpost Radio because of copyright um, infringements. And so... We also switched out the art. We did. I was going to get to that. Just in um, case. And so um, we have found a jazz album, a, uh, a two-platter uh, live album from the 70s that I believe to be so obscure... Thanks to Sweet Melissa's in uh, Sweet Melissa's um, records Marietta, Georgia. In Marietta, Georgia. And Melissa, Comfy, our, our good, close friends. Good friends. Help me find a, a record so obscure that we don't think that the AI at uh, YouTube is going to find it. And I'm willing to send this t shirt to any of you if anybody just by listening to this can guess what it is. And I feel relatively confident that, that that's not going to happen. Sure. We also, because we desperately need our monetization on YouTube because. We don't make any money on this. We don't have any sponsors. That's not the point, though, anyway. Well, we have to buy groceries. That's true. It's actually more just a game, though. So we uh, we took down the uh, the Warhol Campbell soup uh, cans because we were afraid that maybe those were um, were copyrighted. So if anybody can guess what uh, what we've replaced them with just by looking in the background, I'll send you this shirt. Wait, that's that's two several shirts. That's, <laughs> and the other thing that's going on. She has another one on underneath. The other thing that's going to happen is because Valentine's Day is coming up, and this is no, clearly nice. such a romantic shirt. We're going to do some signs, a couple signed shirts. We are. We're going to sign shirts. And I'm going to, because I've got so much time on my hands, but I love to do this. I'm going to DIY. I'm going to paint some. I'm going to do some hand painted versions. Wait, so where did you two meet? All caps in uh, six. Did... There's like six. Where did uh, we meet? We, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. We met in a bookstore. We did. Yeah. It doesn't exist anymore. 
sadly. K Katie was not the one. And it was in an book. event where Elizabeth only showed up because she was trying to make money. Kind of. Someone had told me he wanted to do a coffee shop. She didn't know who I was, which I is fine. I just started my own. We actually we just talked about this. I was going to open either like to do loud? a flower. Is the music too loud? Know. Let is me know if the music's too, too loud. Is it too loud? I don't have my glasses on. People, are, people are making your birth control glasses. You would pay a thousand dollars for an hour Zoom with you. We'll talk later. <laughs> that's that's no. the future. That's anyway. Yeah. So there are going to be Valentine's Valentine's editions, orangey kitchen shirts. Although they people seem to be wearing them. I love. I've seen comments about people being a secret club thing, whatever. Um, but I just hadn't worn mine yet. And I thought tonight would be a good night to do it. Um, I anyway. like the design. It's, it's my favorite of the uh, the shirts available on uh, You know, at first you weren't a big fan of it, though. Yeah, but I like the knives jutting up through the flowers. It's like masculine, feminine. It was like it's a, a, you know, it's when, a, I, when, I, it's, when I designed it's very it sexy. with Roy, it was, um, it's very sexy. I designed it. It was like a punk rock. You know, remember the punk rock shows you used to go and you get like your $5 t-shirt or whatever? Because you're like, eh, that's a t-shirt. That's why it's all white and no colors. Anyway. I didn't, I didn't go to any of those shows. You didn't. Even though you went to Athens. I mean, some of the best punk clubs in Georgia. Well, Atlanta had some, and I don't anymore, but Athens in had a couple. In the 80s, it was less punk, more alternative. Then I went to those punk shows in the 80s. I went to punk, I mean, I went to, we both in went Athens. to CBGB when it was No, no, in Athens I went to. A punk show, a full-on punk show. Yeah. Like thrashing around in the mosh pit in the whole nine yards. Yeah. Screaming, angry, three all chords, the things. bad all musicianship. The things. All the things. I must have been working that night. You were working. So you, you so were delivering pizzas. I was either delivering pizzas, working at the movie theater, or uh, some of the other jobs. You know, there. I worked too in college. If anybody, anybody, no one ever says, by the way, of all the pizzas I delivered, and we're talking thousands of pizzas, no one. I've been on TV 21 years. No one has ever said, oh my God, you delivered a pizza to me. You know why? That's because nobody ever looks at the pizza delivery guy. Nobody no, ever. Look, the pizza's here. And they no. slam the door in your face. All you sorority girls who tip me 35 fucking cents. Oh, I'm going to have some bitterness now. I worked, I worked in college. I was the San Antonio taco, um, the person that you played, you took place to order with. Maybe it's been in Nashville in the 80s. San Antonio Taco Company, right across from How were the tacos? Vanderbilt. They were pretty good. The queso was really good. And people would... I would just prince yeah, you would have. a bowl of queso. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they were really good. It was it was some uh, three guys from uh, Texas. Anyway, so I worked. I worked, too. You're drinking wine. I think it's important. Well, I was just a... But you have a beverage plan. Well... We usually do a beverage, and um, as as some of you may know from from last week's show, um, I'm I'm off the brown stuff because. Yeah. What's the thing? What's the saying in our house? If it's brown, put it down. Put it down. Which is why I don't pick up the dog poo anymore. Not down, down. With the dog's poop, I don't touch it. I'm not picking that up because it's brown. Anyway, you kick um, it. You kick it. You don't kick it. I don't kick it. You you kick it. I don't ever kick the poo. It's a flick. You're like I'm a flicker. Pow! And it goes <laughs> bing boom and over there and like lands in somebody else's yard. And she's like it's She can flick. do it too. And it's she won't flick. have any shit on her shoe. I don't know how she does it. She'll look down and she just pop she just pops it. And the turtle goes doom. Mirrors of experience for dogs. Anyway, um kick it in So the our theme uh beverage wise after last week's hideous turmeric punch I really fiasco. I truly enjoyed it. It was hard. You love turmeric. You love I know, you don't turmeric. have to tell me. I know I do. I am but not. But I thought it was really refreshing. You know what was It's funny, I was talking to a friend today, Melissa, I know you're there. She was like, you like everything. I'm like, no, actually I don't. She doesn't, she doesn't like gin. We, I, I've not drunk some drinks. But the food. And the I've fish last all. week was raw. <laughs> it wasn't raw. It was undercooked. It was rare. And it wasn't sashimi. That's just blue. It wasn't sashimi either. Sashimi's like, anywho, tonight. You know, you have to call me out for undercooking the fish. 
Instead, you could have said, well, after the show, my, my loving husband finished the fish and it was perfect after that. No. But you didn't, I did. No. I put it in the pan. But you got it there, the seasoning. Normally, you nail the meat. Normally, like, what do you think? Normally, I, am... I nail meat. Damn right, sister. Yeah, you do. I do. Um, yeah, you do. Yeah, I can nail some meat. Um, but tonight's drink, kinda, ladies kinda and gentlemen. Lot. We're not doing any meat tonight. So I'm what, excited so about this. Why are you, you're giving up. So. <sighs> Who can guess what these are? Anyone? You guys know what these are. Come on, tell us. I don't have my glasses. So we're going to do a variant on a, a martini. It's going to be a vodka martini. Why? Because I'm out of freaking beef eater. Why am I out of beef eater? Talk to me. Because I drank all the beef eater. Yeah, why? Oh my God, that bottle was almost full last week. It wasn't last week. It was the week before. It was only done one week. I, no, 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 no. Last week it was like down to here. No, the, the week before that. Not olives. Was, nope, no, those not, aren't not olives, Brussels sprouts. Dude. I'm gonna give no. you another, another view. Wait, let's show them the other part of it. You may be more familiar. Nope. Yes, Lewis Chamberlain, you win the prize. Not tadpole, Sasha. What are these? These are capers, which are the uh, flower buds Lewis of got the them. Uh, Mediterranean. Lewis got them. And these are caper berries. How are the hood vents? Which are they clean? Oh yeah, <laughs> the whole thing about cleaning the hood. Yeah, they wouldn't do it. No, and, but they told me that I won. That I got. I wouldn't have gotten shot, but you would have gotten shot. It is way too soon. I am way too fragile. Caper berries is correct. So yes, ding, ding, my culinary ding, staff, ding, ding, which by ding, the way is one hundred percent, are figs and caper berries. Related because someone no, says figs, they, they look, not. they do look figgy. These are the actual berries off of the caper plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make uh, vodka martinis with these tonight. And why again are we using vodka? Because we're out of gin. But this plays into the theme for tonight's show, because as you guys may not know, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make our beverages with Tito's, not a sponsor of the show. Why you ask? Why? Because this is made from 100% corn. This vodka is so made from corn. So why is that corn. not corn, man? Corn. Because it's vodka. I'm confused about how you make vodka out of corn. I know about. You can make vodka out of any carbohydrate almost. I mean, like toenail clippings and belly button. Well, that would be more protein. Um, anything that's a carbohydrate. And, and in America, the cheapest carbohydrate is corn. Corn. Not potatoes, not wheat. But potatoes, corn my mash, favorite. mash, as we here in the South like to call corn mash. Well, this is basically very, very, and very, very clean. Jack Daniels. We need, we need to go to I Jack haven't Daniels. been to Jack Daniels because I'm not a huge fan of, ten, of, of, of Tennessee whiskey as much as I am a fan of bourbon. And they're distinct. They are. Because Tennessee whiskey can be filtered through charcoal and bourbon cannot. So Can anyway, this is basically, we could make this into bourbon, but we're not going to. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna knock out a quick martini. How did you decide? How did you know this was corn? Everybody knows. That. Well, Everybody knows this Tito's is made of corn. It's well, corn. Tito's is corn. If they're if I'm wrong, then they can contact us and tell us so. And <clears throat> in this case, uh, so I'm gonna make up a couple of vodka martinis here. So I've got my uh, my jigger, and we'll do. I do want to. This is a serious question. Um, and I'm going to sound very ignorant now. You going to sound vodka ignorant? Vodka. Uh, like, so vodka. corn mash, what I think of anything made of corn is like moonshine or corn mash or whatever. Vodka. What makes it vodka? It just keeps Because you've got to distill it out. to the point that legally it can have absolutely no color left. It can have no aroma left. It is like squeaky clean. And this is what, 40 ABV, I want to say? Is this? This is what gets people yeah, it's 80 proof, which is 40 ABV. So, so it's just the, like what's it's the between that and Everclear. Well, so, Everclear for one thing for is much higher proof. Uh, That's why what, you put it in Everclear? trash cans one, in one, college with red punch. It's like and you 135 your... proof or something like that. Everclear yeah. is like almost pure alcohol, which is why. I understand, but it also is kind of a lot. It's the last thing that a lot of college girls remember. Before. I know. I'm going to, uh, even though we're going to be using Italian caper berries, you were working I don't for. have any Italian dry vermouth. So we're going to use French dry uh, vermouth, which is my favorite anyway. And I'm, I'm as a martini lover, I like a full 
Shouldn't they say it's made of corn? No. They Should they be proud say. of that fact? Well, I don't know if then maybe they are proud of the fact. Now we're going to use our capabilities. You're really kind of fixating on the... Wrong. Because I always thought that vodka was about potatoes or wheat or whatever. You can make vodka out of anything. It's all about how you distill it. And I love paper berry so, so much. Caper berry. I love it. Mm. Uh, would so, you like dirty? Ooh, you want to yeah. use a little bit of the, mm -hmm. the brine? Okay, mm -hmm. so we're doing dirty vodka caper berry martinis. There you go, my sweet. Okay. Shall I, shall I break? No, we're not doing that. Would you, would you like no. a Vienna sausage? Nope. Would you like? It's more impressive. No. Nope. You don't want to like? No. Nope. Where are you going? Nah. I don't understand what just How happened. How old are you? I'm 12. <laughs> Look, what this is What happened like... to you when you're 12? I mean, again, need to get you on the, the couch. You can get me on the couch anytime you want. Hell, you designed it. Talking. Your caper berry is ripe and full and perfectly formed. Mine's got a, oh shit, I gotta go flip the record over. Do it. Did anybody figure out, has anybody figured out um, the record yet? I don't think so. I don't think you're going to. It's incredibly obscure. Well, there's four, there's, there's four sides, my sweet. Alton behave, I am behaving. What do you, it's not loud enough. They want it turned up, but it's not Chad Baker. Um, they want it to be a little louder because they're trying to figure out what it is. What's that, sweetheart? Here, I'm so pissed off at this record. Because it's it's Warren Zevon's greatest hits and it doesn't have lawyers, guns, and money on it. That's not what we're listening to, by the way. No, we're not we're not gonna show you what we're listening to. It's our living room. It's a disaster. Our living room's Don't even. Please don't I, do that. Okay, sorry. I have a reputation. I don't even know what this stuff is right here. Right. It's like, I don't know. We live like in both. We we live like nomads. Here, let's see how these are. And then we'll cook. Cheers. Corn and caper berries. Did you put vermouth in it too? Yeah. Full dose. It's a... I am liking that. I am too. I like it better than olives. Yeah. Even though my caper berries shriveled olives. up. This is more a dingleberry than a caper berry. Hell, I had to go ahead and say it. Sorry. Sebastian. Sebastian, everyone. Sebastian. Dad, no. Stop it. Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we we're going to actually cook you in dinner a meal. Not no, we're not. Cook, well, we were going to. We were, gonna, we were gonna cook a meal. Not bacon, Sebastian. but either. We um, oh actually do, I, I, I do uh, glasses. Somebody said we should do signature glassware. I, I do have some I work with for glasses and we are working on stuff like that. And do you still brew coffee with salt? I do drip coffee with just a little bit of salt. No, we're not doing squirrel. This squirrel's already been cooked. This squirrel's been dead for Sebastian. 50 years. Sebastian's been dead for 50 years, at least. Yeah, we don't, I, we only do old taxidermy. And I can't figure out what the hell they made it's those like teeth It's like beaver teeth. Of. Really? Because I think it's a chiclet. <laughs> I think they split a chiclet down the middle. I can still smell mint. He didn't know. I think my new glasses make me look smart. Yeah, I know. Play a song. So So we haven't played a song. We're, we're going to. And we're working on songs for the new tour. Uh, the new tour, um, Alton Brown Live, Beyond the Eats, uh, will uh, launch in uh, Minneapolis, in fact, in the fall. So is my shirt. Um, and my shirt. We're... Are you shirt again? Oh, I'm a dog here. All right. Oh. Quarantine. So quarantine, it's, it's for sale quarantine on the, kitchen. On the Alton Brown. Dot it's on the um, AltonBrown.com. Our sponsor, our only actual sponsor. Although we'd like to be sponsored by other things like you know Beef Eater Gin because we're out. Who else? If you could just like make up sponsors. Make up sponsors. Yeah, like if, if you could like just say anybody could sponsor us. Who to be? Like Joe's Taxidermy Supply. 
Oh, definitely and, the other taxidermy um, store would be great. Cheetos. Who makes Cheetos? Cheetos. That's Frito Lay, isn't it? Frito Lay. It's Frito Lay. But I don't want. I don't want Fritos. I want Cheetos. I want to be represented by whoever makes those um, freaking potato chips. Petrosian or, or, or Petrosian um, caviar. caviar. That would be awesome. Would be good. And uh, Rodarte. And Mercedes Benz. And Mercedes Benz. Would be okay. Fine. So, um, what are we going to cook? What size is your shirt, Elizabeth? Well, so this one's a small, and I have to tell you, these, and this is over a sweater, and I know I'm not a big person, but the smalls are big. This is like a blocky. They're like big sized bigs. You know what I mean? It's a small. Yeah. So I would say if you normally wear a medium, I would say small. If you're normally a large, I would say medium. I would like to grab you by the artichoke. Anyway, so... Good, and we've got some more stuff coming. Anyway, um, that's the quarantine kitchen shirt, and um, she's gonna hand paint some, and maybe I will too, and we'll sell those at a higher price and then give the uh, uh, proceeds uh, to charity, probably the Humane Society um, here in Atlanta, probably, which yes. does great work, and which is badly needed because people keep raising shit tons of animals and keeping them in bad uh, yeah. habitats, and then, you know, either dying or whatever. Anyway, that's all of those terrible things. Petit so, Philippe, yes, Patrick Philippe. I don't know. That's more his thing than mine. I don't really what, know. What yeah, you... He said paddock fully. No. Bulgari with a snake. You want the Bulgari snake? Yeah. Um, for yeah, our, I'm not a. For our I, I have a, I have a paddock. For, a fifth wing, for, for you watch me, I have a paddock. It's from the '70s. It's a really obscure reference. I wore it when we got married. No more jazz, says Kitty. No more jazz. Well, Kitty, what would you like? Yeah, what would you like, Kitty? Do tell, Kitty. Kitty. Kitty, what Kitty. music do you want us to play? Yeah. Yeah, we love the Humane Society too because we like animals. Because we have people. a we have an ASCAP problem. Yeah, we have an ASCAP problem. So, Kitty, <laughs> why don't you find us some non ascapy music? Yeah, find us some music that's yeah. uh, uh, not copyrighted. We like jazz. It's kind of our vibe here. It's not our natural music form. Well, it is kind of mine. She's all punk Rap. rock, and she's. No, I love jazz. Yeah. But, Okay. Anyway, classic how about rock. Call her out like a classic. Classic rock. We have very different tastes. The only place that we can agree, we don't have many places we agree on classic rock. She's a Journey fan. What? I think Journey. Oh, you're not going to admit it now that you're out in front. How many times have you started to sing that? You make me real and want to die. Just <laughs> you make me cry. Everybody now, loving, touching, squeezing each other. Look, I grew up in the '70s mostly. I, I can't and the help bands it. Like that was... could not. These are the bands that we used to call them plane crash when bands. When I'm they alone, were... <laughs> Foreigner, Ario <laughs> Speedwagon. All by myself. You know, it gets beaten into your head when you're like. <laughs> I think there's got to, somebody needs to, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have given that. Um, of course, Queen, of course. No, I just want to, I like to torture him, because as soon as he's like, I hate that, I'm like, well, now I'm going to sing it. And you make fun of Steely Dan. No, I don't. I like Steely Dan. I just didn't, I didn't realize a lot of the songs that they play, you played me the other night. I was like, oh, that was them. I knew that song, My that favorite song, band. that song. And, and, but the one that we really fight about, I was a huge Billy Joel fan in the 70s. I think that Turnstiles, The Stranger, and 52nd Street has three albums in a row are absolutely phenomenal, hugely influential, love that. So she just can't do Bill Joel. Not all of it. Some of it. You know who I was a fan of? We never talked about this. But we do get along with Kiss, though. Um, we and can, a lot of music. It's just that that's just I was a Gino Vanelli fan. It has been so nice knowing you people. You have lovely people, and I don't know why. I, I was a big Gino Vanilli fan. fan. <laughs> I was. That was that was the seventies, and that, I think that that was. We found some cassette tapes of mine. Do you remember? Yeah, and you were like singing along <laughs> with the Beach Boys. I was literally. I like hate eight the Beach Boys. Old. 
But you know what was naughty is we're just, we're gonna and it was like it you down. didn't. We're gonna we're, slow it down. You had Nadia's theme on there twice in a row. It was like, well, thank God that's over, and then it started again. Do you remember Nadia's theme? It was this, you Prince. Were like, oh, this is great. Prince. In fact, oh, of course. in fact, we're talking about doing a we Prince, did a Prince cover. Song. We did Starfish and Coffee, but we're thinking about doing a cover on the live tour of um, uh, Let's Go Crazy, except it's gonna be Let's Make Gravy. I'm working on it. I'm working on the here, lyrics folks. now. Well, yeah, and I'm going to do the we guitar can, parts. Boss yeah. Gags, the Silk point is, Degrees. We all have guilty pleasures. Boss Gags, Silk Degrees is in the top three albums of the '70s, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, what are we making for dinner? Because we need to eat. We're something. not actually going to make dinner. We're just going to snack. Why today, are we doing it today? Today is National Popcorn Day, and I have um, warm, deep. What? I just have to laugh. Every morning he's like, today is cupcake day. I'm I like, hate cupcakes. Oh you know God. I don't like cupcakes. I know, but every day is a foodstuffs day. I was so kind. <laughs> Name it. You know, yeah. today's jerk rib day. Today is hostess Twinkie day. Like, wow. Yes, popcorn. And we know that he's done. It's not your fault. You don't like... By the way, who just determines that today is popcorn day? Is that Congress? Congress can't decide shit. <laughs> I would like no, to know. It's who because there are 365 days and everybody like signs up for them and they scramble and then they fight over them. I don't, I don't know. So I, I don't know. I, I have somebody in my office that's like, well, you know, today's National Popcorn Day, so like we need to post. I'm like, it's the National so, Get a Life Day. <laughs> So, but I got excited when he said popcorn. Did you? Why? Got a popcorn. I, really popcorn. I adore popcorn, and we don't get to have it at the movies anymore. Because we don't have movies. Mm -hmm. Vodka burps. Oh. Sorry. Let's name your burps. Vodka, <laughs> vodka, <laughs> caberberry burps. I have. Specific. I name your farts. That's the thing that's. I don't. She doesn't. She doesn't. That was said strictly to make me look clever. I apologize. She never does that. You do burp occasionally. Oh, I can burp like... She mm -hmm. can belch like a college boy. Let's make popcorn. So, here... For real. <laughs> so here's the thing. We're going to make popcorn, but we're going to make as many different kinds of popcorn or flavored uh, popcorns. Me. Well, I'm going to bring the box over here. Bring in the box. So, I, uh... So, he's got his, and, and probably most of you have seen the video, his tried and true popcorn method, which is not that different from... I grew up doing the pan with mom. You're there. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Um, Hi, Marguerite. The pan with the oil, and then you, you know, go like this. I've almost lit the kitchen on fire several times with like giant bursts of flame, but whatever. It's basically what you do. I just did it in a pan, and then I would pour it in a bowl. I like doing it either in a bowl or a wok because then it, it concentrates the kernels down into a smaller area and allows room for the, the other stuff to go away as it pops. Science. Um, so I brought. Um, but there's I also the popcorn. air fry method. So, and I also like the air fry method, but I have a way of um, making it. Popcorn does not last forever. It dries out, and it's the moisture inside and then you that make makes it pop. Vodka out of it. And you make vodka out of it, apparently. Um, and so I had a bunch of. I still had some left over from uh, our live tour show that it wasn't very good anymore. So I went to. Uh, Who's in the Caskell family? I, I had to go. I had to go to Whole Foods, which I don't like. Um, because if you live in Atlanta, you remember Harry's Farmer's Markets, and they got taken over uh, and then turned into Whole Foods, which has got like 12 yeah, items for every 6,000. This 6, is the Casper family and their GMO. This is, so I bought this uh, popcorn GMO. to replace my popcorn. It's Bragadocio. So it's bragging. It's bragging popcorn. Bragadocio from the McCaskill family farm. I do not, we're not endorsing them because we haven't even popped it yet, but I did buy popcorn. What are your thoughts on um, Orville Redenbacher? Orville Redenbacher popcorn is not bad when you just buy the regular popcorn. Now there's two different kinds of popcorn. Anybody that's seen one of my live shows knows this. There's, there's snowflake popcorn, which is the <laughs> popcorn, and then there's mushroom popcorn, which pops smooth, which is why you make kettle corn out of it. Because it has but more I, surface area? Yeah, because it's smooth and it takes a, a candy glaze but we don't have any of that, so we're not making kettle corn. So what I did is I bought some popcorn, and then I have this uh, box of, uh, of spices and things so that we could just <gasps> figure out what we want to, to put on our popcorn. Yeah, our pop but we're also talking about method and what happened. <laughs> she she loves popcorn. I know, Scabs. But we, she likes the... 
Okay. So. Okay, wait, but we're, but we're going to do two methods. We're going to do air pop and we're going to do your Well, method. so my method involves a wok and some aluminum foil. And uh, yours involves a hair dryer. Um, no, a, I didn't. This is a device that I would use to toast spices and nuts. But you're going to make. Oh, I didn't buy. You, this is a gift. No, this is a gift. Don't, let's not even get into that. This is, I would never buy one of these. This is a, a Cuisinart air pop popcorn machine. We just took it out of the box. As it has see, never been. Is, this is the, like, wait, this is like can, smashing a, what? It's a reusable. So, you, this is the kind of thing that we, look, I would like you to show. This is a reusable. Really? Because this is what happens. Here, let me do this. And then, and then we end up with like random crap. This isn't that random that crap. This is this is like this is dentine, green tea dentine. That's not random. Those are dog drugs. This is you know a knife, and that's not random. And there's matches, and that's a tape measure, and and these are seltzer chargers. But none this of, none of this is of random. Thing that you would have cut off and put in here, and you'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. and then four months later, or eight months later, or a year and a half later. I'm just saying, I cut it off. I am, I am disposing of said. I know landfill, I got it, I do. We reuse everything, I'm just saying. <clears throat> we reuse everything? We do. We use a lot of stuff. Yeah, what do I do with this? Do you really, <laughs> do, you want a, do you want a suggestion? No, up here. Yeah. No, up Sebastian's ass is what I would say. No, that's not any worth anything. I don't think that's no. Here, we put it in the beat. Here, we might use it later. We're not gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in the. Uh... So, are you really a hot air fan? Because I'm only because of the okay. pack content, but then I spray oil. Over you spray oil over. <laughs> so let's let's look at the other stuff that I brought home. Okay, so uh, we've got kelp. We've got this. Yes. We've got kelp granules. Uh, we have two different kinds Yay, of furikake. This is the salmon furikake that actually has little bits of fish in it. And we have the furikake that doesn't have fish in it. Um, here's a bunch of spices that I brought. Can you hold this? Yeah. That I, I brought from, uh, from the office. Um, we've got some uh, wasabi powder. This came from the state of Oregon, so that's how we know that's good. Uh, we've got granulated garlic. White onion, granulated onion. Wow. More, yeah, more onion. We've got, uh, this is all from the Spice House. Which Seaweed is popcorn? Favorite. Yes, Turmeric. by the way. Turmeric! Yay! Randy, look, look, Randy, Randy, Randy. Seaweed popcorn. Furtakaki normally goes on rice. rice. So what's the difference between white rice and white mustard, corn? Mustard powder. I don't really know. White cheddar. How's the moth problem? Well, we're oh, we're um, holy we have crap. Um, it's bad. Yeah, we got the the <laughs> moth. The moth problem is uh, the moth is uh, palpable. The, wait, I'm trying to get this thing to flip around. Yeah, we yeah, go. it's like living in the Mothman prophecy movie. <laughs> it's that was a good it's movie. bad. Oh, I like. I went in there to get something, and killed 75 moths. Uh, no nutritional yeast. Yes, Patricia. What? Oh, oh, nutritional yeast, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. Because um, I think we have, I have some. some. Yeah. Um, we have, okay, this is a, a spicy oil. Ooh, um, monkey oil. That's just some, I don't think it's actually from monkeys. I think that's just a logo. What's, what's on there? Okay. Kale flakes. <gasps> yes. Okay. You know what we do have, no, stop. That's, that's Cole hours. gave us that. What, um, one thing that I, I lived on in college for a semester, so I was broke. Was what? I told you it was. Um, you I you say that you you say popcorn. you told me like it's supposed to be like. In seared your brain. It's like um, oh yeah. I pop popcorn like rancid oil, but we I would take um, chicken bouillon. Actually, you know what it was in retrospect? It was ramen. Oh. It was ramen seasoning. Yeah, I don't know where the. You want? The, yeah, the, the the shrimp bouillon. I I can go. I so know I would it take is. like ramen um, packet seasoning and put it on the popcorn and. <laughs> Ramen packet seasoning makes good sense. Yeah. Um, let's see, we've got um, uh, Korean uh, gochugaru. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I shot back that right up. Um, sweet smoked paprika. 
Uh, we've got, oh, ghee, because that's the fat that I use for, for popping popcorn. What are you gonna eat? Oh, you're not, because you're gonna use hot air. You're basically gonna blow job popcorn. Well, that's, uh, I've got, oh, this is from our, our favorite, um, our favorite no. bagel place in, in New York. Makes this I know, I love everything. them, but it makes this they, is not gonna stick to anything. It's well, not if you air right pop it. Up. Mine'll stick. Yeah, well, I, that, but I spray it with oil. Cheese! Yes. Da, 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 da. No, baby. No, 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 no. How bad do you want it? I am addicted huh? to this one. Huh? huh? <laughs> it's the orange. This is not, when Cheetos bad. die. This is their, like, their soul. Like, hey! You used to do some lines what of that? I want to see was. Yeah. It's like cheese and whey. There's nothing good in here. It's yellow five and yellow. I'm addicted to yellow, all the yellows. <laughs> and maybe some reds. Oh, because yes. And a few of the reds. <laughs> Anything so, this color, I don't, I lose my brain over. Well, open, open the jar. Everybody wants to see you do a line. <laughs> don't you guys want to see Elizabeth, like, do a line of cheese? Hey, I'm over there. It's a great... It's very Igmar Bergman kind of. No, it's a Tarkovsky shot. Now what we need is a, 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 a pitcher of milk that can fall off on the floor. Nobody cleans it up, Fresh and that's a Tarkovsky okay. movie. Um, What's this? Sumac. Sumac. I'm not sure. One of my favorites. And Zatar. I think that Sumac Zatar, and Zatar together would, would be good. Okay. Oh, look, more Furukaki. We've got like a trio of Furukakis. They're different, though, all three of them. Which is not the same as a... Randy. Yes, seaweed, popcorn. We've got some Aleppo. Aleppo, yay! And, and Tograshi. Uh, tograshi, shimi tograshi. So these are all the things that we have to put on. Someone says, uh, do a line. I'll do a, I won't do a bump. I'll do a bump. What's a bump? What's a bump? What does bump? that mean? Oh my God. I you don't. Said, you said you grew up in the 80s. Yes. I worked. You really, you're going to snort that? <laughs> you're going to actually put cheese powder up your nose? No, probably would be a mistake. But... <laughs> You want me to go get your rig so you can tie off? You know, like I'm going. I'm going to, to flip the record. You guys having a good time? This is life at our house on any given night. Are you looking at my big ass fan? Yeah, it's really big. Uh, did you just flip this or what? I flipped it. Has anybody figured out what we're listening to yet? I bet you have. Jazz. Which apparently has been. Wait, shit, where's the other? Dick's made. What? No, wait, we can't listen to anything. <gasps> we can't I, listen I, to I, anything I, I, like I, this. I, I, Nothing else, everything I heard. else. I heard you. I know it. I know the plan. All right. I'm down with the plan. Nobody can read it, so we don't have to worry. Um, it's our liquor. Excellent. Pop, let's popcorn. I'd like you to hear Carl Lundin. Carl Lundin. Ooh. No, we're not going to say. We're not going to say what that is. What nobody's going to guess. Nobody, nobody's going to guess. So we have all of these seasonings. So what do you want to do? We know what you want to do. You want to do the cheese. No, I actually like for coffee. And I like, oh, I want to find the shrimp bouillon. Oh, um, okay. Do you want me to tell you where it is? No, it's downstairs. I, do you want me to go? So if you go downstairs to the, 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 the lower pantry, look over on the right. I know where it is. So I'm going to get a jump on her, uh, popping some corn because I'd like to eat, you know, today. Um, you can do this with a, just a bowl um, and, and on a, a show that I've been associated with. Well, uh, we did just that. But if you've got a walk, this is a rocking good walking good uh, application um, for, for that. So I'm gonna put my uh, walk here over, uh, let's say medium high, let's say. Oops, sorry, let me flip this around. I know that some of you guys are wanting Zatar. I just want like popcorn. I, I don't know about you guys. Um, I just like, did you find it, my sweet? Giant block. It's a giant, <laughs> it's not a giant block. There are multiple blocks in there. I think that'll be really, really good. I understand. So, Meat, I agree. Shrimp, shrimp bouillon. With the furukake, Randy. 
I need to get in this drawer. Who's Uncle Roger? I don't know. Why would he be proud? Uncle Roger? Who would Uncle Roger be proud? We're only... I don't even know. We've only just begun. Um, we could do some carpenters. What's the uncle song? Uncle Albert, uncle... Uncle Albert. We're so sorry. Now look, that's uncle gonna get us docked for monetization on YouTube because we... I'm gonna turn on the hood. Anything fun. What? Anything fun that gets docked. Oh. Oh my God, there's are like, okay. How much MSG is in this stuff? It is a lot of MSG and a little bit of. Have you ever seen these oh things? Oh my gosh! These look are... at this. The back, the back. It's mostly in um, Arabic. What? Did I buy this? No, I bought it. I was like, hey. wow. I was gonna Hunter Thompson that stuff. Um, so I've got my wok getting hot here, Salt and the reason that it's smoking. Flavor enhancers. The second ingredient is MSG. Don't talk bad about MSG. The second. You pop with your little blowy thing, and I'm gonna make. Ah. Your blowy thing. I wish I had a blowy thing. I'm oh, sorry. Can you say that again for so kids wish, at home? You wish I had a blowy thing. You. Have I ever complained? Okay. The camera's here. So, my walk. I'm not gonna hit you in the face with a hot walk. Uh -huh. This is gonna get recycled, by the way. Yes, we do actually typically recycle. I want to make it. Well, I mean, I'm gonna there reuse there. it. I'm gonna actually reuse no, it. I know, but we do actually recycle a lot. So, so um, the nice thing about me. <clears throat> Uh, which is essentially clarified butter that's just cooked a little bit more, is that it doesn't have any water in it or milk proteins left, so, because you've strained those out. And I've got several videos. You made ghee. Like the YouTubes where I, I made ghee. Um, so it doesn't burn very, very quickly the way butter does. And I think it makes, it is the absolute best flavor uh, for, for popcorn, but I'm not going to put it in this container until I'm ready on popcorn. And I've got about a tablespoon there which I'm gonna use with, uh, let's call it half a cup of the uh, the popcorn substance. Maybe a little bit more. Now, I'm putting them in, literally, I'm gonna put in the, the popcorn first, and then I'm gonna put in the ghee. The big black bowl, ladies and gentlemen. The big, black big, big black bowl. So then I'm gonna put this, uh, that's mesmerizing, but I gotta get to this. So I don't want the popcorn jumping all over the place. So I'm gonna, this is hard to do with just one hand. I'm covering with foil, and then I'm just gonna poke a couple of holes to let steam out because I don't want my popcorn to be wet, right? Priming the bowl, like you do So you're using salad. a spritzer. Hold on. Ow, shit, that's hot. Um, <laughs> I gotta set this down for a second because I gotta. Here, watch, watch my wife pump the oil bottle. <laughs> I prime the bowl. I'll say. Wait, I don't even know what I'm going to put on here yet. Um, uh, all right. Salt for sure. I should have put salt on there actually before I uh, started popping. Damn it. Uh, wait, I don't need that. Son of dog. Oh. Nothing. I'm holding a camera for the love of God. What, what else is going in there? I'm priming the, the bowl with the MSG, I mean... Yeah, like, baby! So we're having shrimp, bouillon. What else is gonna go in there? 
Can I? I'm going for the the cheddar then. Dry, flavorless. Um, I need a clean. I don't want a Woody Allen this. What does that mean? You know, blow it all over the place, sneeze on it. <laughs> like a Manhattan. Yeah, Manhattan again. Uh, I love the color. So I've got a good bit of... Uh, I should have put salt in there before I did this. And actually, I could probably put a little bit more ghee at this point. Kind of... <laughs> Dinner bell! Now, does new popcorn have any nutrition? <laughs> Nutri um, popcorn has fiber. Yes, that's true. And that's about it. But it's not as bad as like M&M's. It's not as bad as M&M's, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It's not as bad as M&M's, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm not saying that M&M's well, are bad. Um, is that enough cheese? You want more cheese? This is really hard to do with single-handed. Well, here, I'm gonna hold this. Can you hold the, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Ghee popcorn is the best. Need some of that orange powder. Now, is that your orange powder? No. Um, no, this is industrial orange powder that I bought from a, uh, a website. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Popcorn and M&M's are delicious together. Popcorn and M&M's? That's really? Much have, yeah. Toss a whole brick of cheese on it. Nuke for two minutes. Okay. That's what Orlando. I did last week. Pretty Remember, much. I did I did that last week. Pretty much. Is your walk hey, from a restaurant supply store? What do you think, Scab? Hmm? Just like I'll eat it, I guess. I guess I'll eat that. Okay, popcorn. This is mine, but I have to add more stuff to it. We're focusing on his right now. So your popcorn is bland and dry because you used an air popcorn popper. Mine, on the other hand. Yeah, but look at me. I'm spritzing. I'm not done. I don't know what this shit is. Mosher Hill. But I want more of it. Yeah, it's all, like, it's all the red. It's I want the more. Screw all of this stuff. I just want the cheese powder. <laughs> this right here. All right. So. What? All right, here's a choice. Those two are the same. No. Katsu kuma for kaki, salmon for kaki, and nori. I would like fine people to choose between those three for kakis. Do you guys want her to use the salmon for a kaki? The katsu uh, um, for a kaki, or the just nori kami for a kaki? Anyone? Da, 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 no. They say the salmon. Oh, the katsu. There you go. Katsu. Okay. We'll do the katsu. So I'm going to do that. Mine's ever so slightly healthier. And I might even do some fruit. Um, Scabs is up. Oh, because I spilled some. I have to. Oh, my God. <coughs> You're not. Are you really? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Healthy goodness. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kale! 
Thank you, Cole. Yeah. I also probably want to add some sugar rush. Okay, there's some cheese head over there. Cheese head, cheese head. Fine. All right, the benefit. It's like um, scabs. No scar bags or black bag or something. Oh, food coffee's so good. That's like the jam for me. Uh huh. You barely have any on there. Well, here's a problem with my method. Well, you've already like pre butter. As I get down through a layer, it's an interactive process. I keep re spritzing. Yeah. She keeps re spritzing. <laughs> Look, try it. You haven't tried it. I haven't tried it yet. Hold on. Scabs. Yeah, spritz. I want a re-spritz. <laughs> I don't see any furry cocky. Yes, it's... Uh, try it anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any furry cocky. Goody cocky. All right. Now you see the frickin' furry cocky? There it is. Can't see that. I just that wanted anymore. to hear you say furry cocky. There's like sushi. The there's um, like eel in there. Yeah, that's why you do the katsu, which I thought was a good call. Whoever did that. But you also use the uh, <coughs> the secret ingredient, which is you're right, <coughs> which is this magical cube of uh, of shrimp <coughs> powder. <coughs> I know. Yeah. I'm not going to give that to you, sweet girl. I'm not going to do it. Do you want to try my... Uh... Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I have to put something else on it to make it like gourmet. Hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God, it's burnt. Burnt. It's not burnt. I did that on purpose. Okay, here's a go. But we had, we, we, we promised all these variations. We have to oh, we did two. Well, I mean, we've been on for 52 minutes. What are we going to do? I, are we going to make more popcorn okay. or another or another cocktail? Okay, do you guys want to see other uh, seasonings? What would you do? Well, we brought home all these incredible things. Okay, then I vote for... Does that char? Yeah, I vote for Zatar, smoked paprika, and sumac. Wow. So, um... And mustard powder? Oh, wait. I mean, you have all these other things. I'm not sure how about the mustard. How about Old Bay? No, Old Bay. Everything's going to taste like a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> I'm strong with that. Oh, hell. Uh -oh. Look at that cheese powder residue. Cheers. Well, get to licking. <laughs> Even for Go me, ahead, that. girl. Even for me, that's too much. Even for you? Here. I'm gonna do it. All right. I'm gonna do it. How do you... Here. Right. You'd be out and brown. I'm out and brown because I can't be somebody else. If I could, I would. Because being out and brown is not really that great are you do you want to pop it in that so that i don't have to watch the walk since you're so enamored of your blowhard 1000 <laughs> yeah. so here you 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 blow and spritz where'd you go oh. i have a look No? Look at the floor. <coughs> That's your floor, I, not my floor. My floor is pristine. <laughs> not so pristine now, is it? <laughs> no, it's not so pristine now, huh? No 
always the ground round. Anybody grew up in New England, the ground round. Remember that? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> ground round is meat. No, there's a restaurant called the ground round. And they play like Keystone Cops. And you would throw popcorn and peanuts and stuff. Okay. Scabs, do you have something to say? Well, God damn it! you guys keep making a lot of noise. A mess. All right, so you pop more corn, and I'll, um, I will ready uh, a flavor mix. Although I think this is uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's oh. fucking red, red dye number five. What's the point? What would be more American than red dye number five? Well, maybe red dye number two. <laughs> Somebody said they had something in New Jersey. God, the comments go by too fast. I can't stop them. All right, so you're doing that. Yeah. Ready the flavors. What? Ready the flavors. Like I'm going to ready the flavors. Ready the flavors. You favorite all of So we're going to use um, sumac from the Spice House, where we buy all of our spices in Evanston. Uh, it's ground ground, maybe in Ohio, but also in Boston. Smoked paprika. Zeta. Caramel corn. Yeah. We could do that, but we need caramel. we need mush caramel corn. Like kettle corn, you need mushroom style popcorn. It's much harder to do. Not kettle. We'll caramel. burn it. It'll make. No I know difference. the difference. Have you met me? No. You are covered in orange cheese. <laughs> I don't. Look at the floor. Look at the mess you made. Gee whiz. I know that YouTube doesn't like Guess the music, have they? I'm gonna have to look back and see. Nobody's, we're gonna look back. I'm betting that nobody's guessed the music. That's fine. All right, so Elizabeth is uh, I'm gonna... spritzing with this interminable. It's, Ow, it's shit, that just went off. It just blew! You. I, what? Look at. I don't know where the lid, the lid for the, uh, Does it really the matter? sumac. It doesn't matter with a freaking lid for the sumac. You know, this is valuable stuff for my favorite spice concern. Maybe they'll represent us. Okay, so is that it? I don't know. But it didn't look to be like much on it. I didn't do it, you did it. Well. I'm just along for the ride. You need salt and more fat. Okay. Can well, you I, spritz it? I can handle the fat. Oh, hang on. Pumping. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Wait, slow down, slow down. So. <laughs> there. That's it? You know, popcorn is supposed to be mildly healthy. Mildly. Look at all the shit in the bottom. I See, that's that's quality. all down there because it won't stick because there's no fat. Well, now it has fat. So it's like a salad. Okay, people. 
What do you think? I haven't heard it. Do taste test. Mmm. That's what I thought it was going That's. This is good. I didn't expect this to be this. Oh my god, this great. It's really good. But I'm married. What? So, do you prefer your furry cocky? <laughs> <laughs> or do you prefer your, uh, your, your Middle Eastern melange? Well, I will sample. Equally but different. I mean, the orange cheese powder is just a crack. I mean, you can't even This compete. is bland. Well, you didn't put salt in it. This is... <laughs> Go ahead. You can't compete with orange cheese and, well, I have MSG on here too. I was gonna say MSG. Do you want another cocktail? Yes. Oh. But it's pop, it's pop hard. What's wrong with you? Pop on oh. frog, not what? Django Reinhardt. Well, really. Django's not, a guitar player. No. It's totally not. Anyone else ordered cheese powder just now? <laughs> It's a bit of a big, big I did get this off of Amazon. I'm not gonna lie. Do you want to take some questions and have another drink, my yeah. sweet? Yes. Okay, great. I'm just gonna push all of this stuff out of the way, and uh... start cleaning up bigger things. I was expecting the dogs to clean up the kitchen. I'm really hungry. Every week we do the show. There's too much <clears throat> cleanup. Um. God, look at the freaking questions floor. Go. <laughs> It's like a movie theater. Oh my God. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you do the freaking flamenco. All... You need to, we've talked about this. Um, what did we talk about? I don't know. Your questions go by so fast. Could you dehydrate real cheese and grind it up? Yes. Do we could what? You, could you dehydrate real cheese and, and grind it up? Yeah, let's make it to where they're looking at, at us instead of just at your artichoke. Round round. Really? In rural Maine. What? Ground round still exists in rural Maine. Is it open for the for the pandemic? Does it? Tell me what ground round was. Are like. you guys wearing your masks? There's four. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, like just happened. Thank you, Jules. It's bad over here. Yeah, it is bad over there. And it is like round round. It's like somebody just threw popcorn on the floor. And danced all over it. Maybe like you. Are we going to finish all that popcorn? Probably Are you going to flip the vessel? Probably not. Yes, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'll make uh, more cocktails. Hey, um, how are you guys doing? Um, we're awfully glad to be back with you. Uh, it is the high point of our week, uh, being back with you on, uh, on Quarantine Kitchen. Oh, it's two. Once the uh, quarantine is over... <laughs> We, 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 Elizabeth and I are gonna like, I think we're slated, we're slated to get our, our vaccinations in like May of 2022 or something like that. Um, are you, I really didn't want that back here. Um, anyway, when uh, this is over, we're gonna keep making this show. We're just gonna like have guests and stuff, which I think, do you think that would be fun? Or do you think we should just keep it us? What do you think? I'm asking you, what do you think? I mean, it depends. We had the Swedish chef once, and we've got some other people. Do you want my caber beard? Yes. You know, I went to college, and I'm, like, educated. I have a master's degree. Yeah, okay, thank you. I do not have a master's degree. In the time that most people got um, a master's degree, uh, an undergrad, imagine, you know, both of them, I just got one because I went to three colleges, two of which asked me to leave. Uh, one allowed me to stay, and that was the University oh, of Georgia. it reminds me of you. It's so cute. No. <laughs> I, I had to do it. Here. Oh. No, no, no. I'm gonna... The fucking chair. I don't know. I'm gonna reach in here and get the biggest... 
Sebastian, ladies and gentlemen. Sebastian. You guys love him? Do you like Sebastian? They're all do you feel out badly for him? Of course they feel badly. Well, who isn't? <laughs> Here, look. I'm going to do... I'll be doing two. The magnificence. The magnificence that is Sebastian Brown. How did you decide on Sebastian? Look at him. Point. He's Point doing... taken. All right. Good evening, JR. Good evening, JR. Where's the other dog? Uh, Franny. I'll look at Franny. Oh. Franny's on his chair. I know. You're standing The mess. Let me go get Franny. Look at the mess. We're gonna have to burn the house down. Oh. <laughs> Your dog ran away. So, um, because he got tired of hearing about fucking Sebastian. That's what he got tired of. He's like, goddamn Sebastian, screw that squirrel, I'm out of here. Sometimes he goes upstairs now. Um, so now is the question and answer session. Uh, you are both awesome. Thanks for sharing your joy on the stream. You're welcome. Oh, a little uh, orange bitters to that? Not with caperberry juice, but I, you did not put... Really? You, orange you bitters? No. If you're wrong... No. Not, I'm going to run the mine. risk because somebody said orange bitters. But you didn't put... I'm. Mm -hmm. You didn't dirty mine. Either. No, I didn't dirty yours up. There. No, I just did. Why is Gab not eating off of her... Because... She's not a monkey. I mean, she just just do to get a Roomba. He loves his Roomba. She, he needs a Roomba. Um, I do like a Roomba. The problem is that Roombas don't do well with rugs. They really get bogged up. I used to have a Roomba when I lived in this apartment, and 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 I loved it to get the itself. app, and I would watch. It would go online, and you could like watch where it was going on the app, and I got such a huge kick out of that. In its final act, it literally hung it, like, itself. itself. It um, it, got, it sent itself it down some. It got caught up in like a blind string. And I'm like, string. no! And I'm like and driving home to save And it ate the blind string and, and it, it like, it hung it itself. Hung itself. Really the, the blind string wrapped around it and it like climbed up the wall and I came home and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm still, it's still too soon for me to talk about Roomba. It could have just talked to me. You know, it could have just told me and now I see videos on like yes, Instagram the of like. Yes, Sweet stickers is actually my computer. I just saw that. The sweet, yes. yes, we're huge fans Remember of Sweet Melissa. suicide happens. It's very sad. Living in Marietta. But now you see why it might have killed itself. If you see the servitude in which it. <clears throat> I treated that Roomba so well. I used a filtered AC source to charge it. You did talk a lot like about hand your Roomba. hand cleaned, a hand cleaned. Well, the problem is I found out that I had another Roomba at the office. You were cheating on it, yeah. You got you got a little little cheese powder on your face. Can I get that off? I'm saving it. You're saving oh, it? I'll sweet. save some for you. I'll put Look some in my pocket. Okay. Uh, cheater, yeah, exactly. What watch you wearing, Alton? <sighs> what watch am I wearing tonight? Uh, I'm wearing a Timex Marlin. Uh, automatic on a uh, NATO strap. So oh, new a, paintings. Uh, Someone recognized the new paintings, oh, Matt. Yes, there are new paintings up, and they're not see, actually wait. paintings. They're lithographs. Let's, here, you do this. You're better than I am. Uh, see if you can identify. So, yes, these are... Uh, I'll let you guys figure out what these are and who did them. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything. But if you were to Google... Dinners of Gala, you might find out something. Um, and yeah, we took down the uh, the soup cans, and, and that's that. You're now you're eating the cheese. I knew you'd come around to my cheese eventually. Oh, look at I'm gonna get off the cheese. When mm. we uh, we get off, we're gonna yeah. do the what? Pine cone Dolly. Yes, absolutely, Dolly. Those are um, uh, Salvador Dali lithographs with a uh, little uh, pencil drawings at the bottom done by the master himself. Is the Unitasker you're referring to the air popper? Because I don't disagree. Uh, the Unitasker is, n is no, uh, because an air popper is really, really good at toasting sesame seeds, nuts, and pine nuts. So it is not a Unitasker by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's just not very good for popping popcorn. Are we staying at 7? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're going to stay at 7 because um, 8 was only while I was making um, a TV show a while back and I couldn't get home in time um, to, to, to do this. Puerto Rican food, yes. 
we love Puerto Rican food and we'd like to eat it in Puerto Rico, um, in Old Town, San Juan, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of our, um, as soon as uh, we feel that we can safely travel again, we're, uh, we're gonna go down uh, to Puerto Rico. My daughter just came back from there, actually. She just spent like We have numerous friends there. that have been. Well, we have friends We've in, got friends in uh, there, Puerto Rico. So, so um, yeah, Puerto Rico is the jam. Puerto Rican food is fantastic. And yep. they make some pretty good rum. All those reasons. Um, These are going by very quickly. This is the first time he's wore the show's name. This is the first time he's wore the No. Quarantine I mean, Kitchen? No. Sorry, Goody. This is Quarantine. What? This the is Quarantine Kitchen. Show, I mean, whatever. I don't, I don't own that title. I can't use it. I'll be touring in Maryland. I haven't seen the list yet. Uh, we will be playing in Maryland. Um, we don't know yet whether that's going to be in the fall or the uh, winter, oh, spring of 2020. Oh, the the yeah, well, it depends on how friendly you are with it. Roombas are entertaining. They're just not very good vacuums. I don't think, because I have rugs. We have rugs, right? We have hardwood Mr. rugs, Puff, and that's, well, that's bad. Yeah, Scabs is on Mr. Puff. Alton. Appalachian cookbook? What, squirrel Appalachian and cookbook. possum? You put in a cook possum, a good pet possum growing up. I could never really properly do an Appalachian cookbook because my mother didn't teach me how to kiss. What? So gross. Clark Terry. Um, I don't know what that means. So tomorrow is, um, we are staying home. I'm staying home part of tomorrow. I like staying home on Wednesdays. I'm gonna go to the office because I'm, I'm working on, on new, new recipes for a new show. But you gave everybody the day off. I did give my employees the day off tomorrow because I think there's some important things happening tomorrow that people should be able to be home to watch and be with their loved ones, yes. So we're I don't talk to... about politics. It's not politics. Tomorrow's not politics. It's politics adjacent. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we're gonna, I, I am going to be. I'm gonna be cleaning up this mess. I'm not going to be able to do that tonight because I'm going to be I'm busy gonna tell you, licking the cheese powder off. And of. the, the dirty martini with the caper berry is really nice. With the caper dingleberry? It is subtle. It's not It's not like punch you in the face like olive brine. It's no, a more it's subtle really nice. fruitiness. Yeah, it's. Um, uh, we strongly more suggest that you try uh, some vodka martinis with. Uh, with what about Caperberry. Mr. Puff? Uh, what's the excitement, Rosalind, about Mr. Puff? There he is. You saw him earlier. Puff's where he always is. Oh. Although, we had some tense days here because Puff had to go to the dry cleaners, and. Um, Came back. Just you know, we, we could we could dust the rim of a cocktail with cheese dust. What kind of? I'll I'll fucking do that right now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cheese dust. Oh. I'm putting my cocktail back in the. Okay, I'm up here. Me too. Me too. I like it. I like it. Hold on. Hold on. Whatever that was. Here. Wait, 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 I do have cheese fingers. Please? Well, no. This is but What? He's very excited about something. Miami, yes. What's happening? Notice it's not a credit card. It's my Witten Museum uh, membership card. So this is like the most arty dope chop ever in the history. Oh my God. It's like- It'd be more- it's like we're like listening to like a, that's true. It's like listening to uh, an Here Eagles album in like 78. The last time I saw this chop this much powder, I was in. I was, Never. Uh, you, you no, I was a junior in high school in my English teacher. Who had, What's the last movie we watched? We watched freaking Sacrifice is the last movie we so, watched. Wait, wait, we have to, we have to wet your rim. I'm surprised you don't. <laughs> we, we have to wet your rim, sweetheart. Come on. You, you see what I live with? Because if we don't wet your rim, it's not going to take the cheese. So here, I'm going to wet you, your rim. Thank you, darling, for wetting my rim. Yeah, so uh, Sunday morning, we watched uh, Tarkovsky's Sacrifice. Uh, Sacrifice, which I guess I had seen in my more. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a rim job. That is beautiful. Yeah, never get high in your own supply. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna lick the entire rim? Where's your drink? 
I Did you drink yours yeah, in here put too? It back okay. in here. So I'm afraid this, do you want me to mix up more? Because these might be watery. And once your glass is rimmed, then you can reinsert your dingleberry. Yeah, baby. This is water. That was an excellent suggestion. What? This is the dirtiest show we've done. That was an excellent suggestion. We're, wow. It's gonna be a hell of a night at the Brown House. That's all Super gonna... genius. Uh, drink suggestions for tomorrow. The clean slate, the begin again, the... You know... No. I don't talk about... It's neither Sax No more Miles Davis. It's not Miles Davis. You guys are not going to guess that it. You could You're not going to get it. Shazam. That's the whole point. Because the whole thing is that we made sure that Shazam oh, can recognize the night it. collection oh. someone wants. So, um, and your new flower. Oh, I've got... I'm going to... i got a rim... Rim job. Rim job. Oh, oh. Yeah. Rim ham. Oop, oh, where am I? There. That is a thing of decadent beauty. Damn it, I got a piece of ice in there too when that happens. You dingle, your double, double dingle. Dip, I got it. Double dingle. That's what I'm gonna name this. The double dingle. This is the uh, double Cheeto dingle. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, tilt up, tilt up, tilt up. There we go. Well, I was gonna show flowers. Or actually, Holy somebody shit, asked. Holy shit, that's good. Okay, so they're the knives. Or actually, they're the scissors. Scissors, knives, and fleurs. Mon fleurs. Tulip. Queen Anne's lace. Quince. Quince. <laughs> yeah. And um, some other kind of branch I can't remember the name of. Okie dokie. There you it, go. Is it about time for us to go? Yeah. How long have we been on? Holy crap, 77 minutes. It's like our longest show ever. So I love the cheese. We're going to go you back to drinking our cheese rimmed uh, caperberry vodka martinis. And tomorrow I will be in front of the TV watching, I guess, Lady Gaga and Tom Legend and the National Guard and counting the 250,000 flags, <clears throat> which are really what? freaking beautiful. We say goodbye. Sebastian says goodbye. It's Gabrielle, um, for, for any who's left home, this is Sebastian. <laughs> um, we've had an awful lot of fun. Happy Popcorn Day. Happy Popcorn Day. Um, and happy Inauguration Day tomorrow. Oh, wait. And, uh, we have to do the Lawrence Welk song. I think people... No, been... because I think that's what that's what's like not... <clears throat> we're, we're not getting our monitor. <laughs> Sorry. I don't really care about monetization. I just think it's funny. We're trying to like... We're trying to, you know, figure this out. Cause it's funny to us. Oh, 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 happy popcorn day. National holiday. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, that's ugly. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Lights. Hold on. Mr. Lights. Turning out off the lights, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, oh yeah. That's cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night.